Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. Uh, we got a good one for you today. Pro Box is back. And we're going to get into the Pro Box card. Uh, we're going to get into the main event first, which is Luis Feliciano versus Mike Kwan Williams. This is a really, really good fight. It's going to be high-level boxing. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight, and not even the super big ones. Pro box cards. We bring it to you. We show you how to make money consistently on the sport of boxing. Look, the odds makers, the boxing bookies, they don't know how to handicap the sport. I do. And that's why I'm here to show you how to consistently make a, a, a stream of income betting on boxing. I'm um, show you how to bring down the house and let's do it together. All right. Also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds uh, from that channel go to autism research and recovery. All right. Let's get into. Uh, let's get into today's show. Um, Luis Feliciano was a highly touted prospect. He hasn't lost it. He's had kind of a weird career. I was trying to do some research on him. He had a long way layoff, like three years. Uh, he's 30 years old now. He was a, a big time golden boy prospect. We'll find out all their, uh, Golden Boy live cards that you know they're prospect heavy cards early in his career. Fought guys like Daniel Montoya, uh, Jonathan Fortuna at, at Indio. He fought a bunch in Puerto Rico. Came back in 2019, uh, scored knockouts over uh, Fernando Carcamo, and then in a, in a battle of unbeaten unbeaten prospects, he defeated Gennaro Gomez. That was. August of 2022, he fought once more that year, scored a unanimous decision over Her Herbert Acevedo to close out. I'm sorry, that was in 2019. What am I saying? That was in 2019. He fought one more time in 2019 to close out the year, beat Herbert Acevedo. I thought was going to be in contention for prospect of the year. Uh, next thing we know, he's out of the ring for two and a half years. He's not back in the ring. He's no longer with Golden Boy. He runs off in... He comes back in May of, of 2022. He fights twice in 2022, fights once more in 2023. Picks up the level of competition a little bit in 2023, fights uh, Clarence Booth and dominates him. So he's 3-0 in his comeback uh, with one uh, with no knockouts, no knockouts. I'm not sure he hasn't looked the same after, at least statistically on paper, he hasn't looked the same since his comeback. Uh, prior to his comeback, he showed some power. Look, Luis Feliciano, You, it, when you see him, you'll understand why he was a highly touted guy with Golden Boy. Like I said, he's 30 years old now. He's really patient and calm in there. He picks his shots well. He's calm. He's in control. He has a really good jab. He lunges in a bit. He can be countered. He can be tagged. He tall and, and, and long for the weight class. He's tall and long. He, he uses his height well. He fights tall. One thing I know is I don't love about him. He's got a, you'll hear Paula talk about this in the fight. He's got an I go, you go kind of style. I go, you go kind of style. He doesn't really punch in between your punches. It's going to be a problem at the highest level. Mike Quan Williams is a good fighter, and, and this is a good fight. Um, we're going to get into what, what Mike Quan Williams does well. But what I like about Felicia is he's, he's a textbook fighter. For, for a long fighter, he's textbook. He's got decent pop. He's a good body punch. He mixes in body shots really well. He seizes his moment really well. When he hurts you, he makes you pay, and, and he can push for stop. He's a little, he hasn't done that since his layoff. So I'm interested in, in seeing that. I'm interested in, in, in him taking a step-up fight because this is a, a big step-up. This is a, a good guy. He's a good fighter. He's in with Mike Quan Williams. Is nobody's, you know, nobody's pushover. It's a real fight. It's a really good fight. It's going to be a high-level chess. It's going to be a high-speed boxing match. Ultimately, I think Feliciano has more tools. I think he's a better body puncher. I think he has more pop. I think he's more fundamentally sound. Although Mike Quan Williams does things really well. Feliciano is really technically sound. Outside of lunging in a little bit, he's really technically sound. He's accurate. He mixes up his shots. He changes levels. Controls the range. He controls the distance. He does all of that really well. Mike Quan Williams gets a little sloppy sometimes. You know, he's a slick boxer, likes to be off the back foot. He's really good at catching punches and picking off punches. 
but his footwork, it's a little messy sometimes. He's off balance sometimes. And you can see that he got ruled knocked down once on a fight where he was fighting on um Showbox. Showbox. Um and it was ruled a knockdown. This was I'm gonna fight trying to find the fighter's name. Yai Solano. And Solano got credit for a knockdown. I think he got credit for a knockdown on a slip. Right? On, on, on when he was off balance. And you can see he's, his balance is weird, right? Like he's a back foot fighter and he's moving a lot. But his feet aren't great. Like he's got quick feet, kind of. Not super quick. But his footwork is kind of off. You see his feet get too close together at times. He's actually a good counter puncher. He's going to look to counter. You know, he's going to look to pick off and counter. Pick off shots, catch shots, you know, catch and shoot. He, he's pretty good at that. I noticed he may have gas tank issues. And I, I think, you know, we're going to see an even fight early on. And I, I think between the body shots and Mike Quan-Williams' willingness to let fighters in. Like, he's good on the outside. This could be a really good high-speed chess match. And I, I, I think... It's going to be even for a while. Feliciano is going to work his way on the inside. Really start to slow him down. He's a better body puncher. Bigger snap, bigger pop, I think, on his punches. He's going to start to wear him down. I really think he's going to win this fight in the second half of the fight. But I'm, I have some concerns about that because of the layoff. Like, he's fought in the last four years. He's fought three times. But Mike Quan Williams really hasn't had major inactivity issues like that. Mike Quan Williams fought uh, just once in 2023. But you know, he fought three times in 2023. You know, he fought in 2021. He had a layup with COVID where he, he missed an entire year, basically, in 2020. But since then, it's, especially in 2022, he's, he's been active. And you know, he's been on, on, decent, on decent cards. His last fight, he suffered a draw with a 12-7-1 fighter. And that was uh, the Hall of Fame card on, on Showbox. It was June of this year. It was a disturbing performance, and and that's kind of why I'm picking against him. I guess he's good defensively. He can pick our shots. He's got pretty good reflexes. He can box up the back foot. He make, does a pretty good job of, of making you miss and countering you. But I, I think Feliciano has way more tools. I think there's more ways for Feliciano to, share, to win this fight, and I like Feliciano on point, so I'm going to show you how I'm betting this fight and how you guys should bet this fight. I definitely like the over. I, I definitely think we're going over eight and a half. I definitely think this fight goes at this. The odds don't really pay super well on that. You could probably take that times two. It's going to make you $44. Feliciano to win the fight is going to make it. It's two to one. In his, in his favor. It's going to make you 50 bucks. $300 bet makes you 94 bucks. You are hedging it in case you lose 100 You're still making 44 back as this is going to go the over. And that's why I'm doing two times bet on the over. It doesn't make your odds great, but this is a close fight. This is, I, I think Feliciano wins this in the second half. But if Mike Quan Williams gets up, he could carry the day, you know, and I, I don't think Felice Hill is going to knock him out because he hasn't been fighting that way in his recent fight. So I, I think this goes a distance, and I think Feliciano wins it, but I'm not as confident that Feliciano wins it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a two-times bet on the over. I love the over on this, and I'm taking Feliciano on the money line. So that's a $3 bet. It's going to make it 94-44. So it's basically 3-1. to one. Uh is what you're doing, but you're getting the heads there on the over because I really, really like the over. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. Shows you how to bring down the house. There's always a bull market somewhere. We're going to show you how to make that second source of revenue betting on the sport of boxing. The Boxing Bookie so far is 7-0 this year. Follow me, Old Forms 3D Box, 3D Box Blog. Also follow me, my other YouTube channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Please hit the subscribe button, share. Also, join my Patreon. Uh, the Patreon gets you all types of cool stuff. It gets you a free T-shirt. 
get you uh, the exclusive lock of the week. You can ask me to handicap a fight, and I'll do that for you. I'll show you how to make any money on money on a fight that you picked that I may have not done a video for. You can also get a full scouting report that I will break down. You can share with your friends, and you can look as smart as the boxing bookie. The boxing bookie is 6-0 and this year. He hasn't missed yet. Uh, it is January 16th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.